We call it a wardrobe pause. Hello guys, this is Sunny. Welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about a challenge that I have joined during the whole month of May. And this challenge, um, as the name indicates, is really challenging for me. You know how you guys, I love to go thrifting and I love to share it with you guys, but sometimes I thrift um, too much and things that I don't really need. There's actually a bunch of stuff that I've thrifted that I haven't really worn, not even once, once, once. When I bumped into this challenge, I thought it was the perfect thing for me. This challenge, it's called the mid-season wardrobe pause. So during the whole month of May, from the 1st of May to the 31st of May, I'm not allowed to buy anything new for my wardrobe. I cannot buy any clothes, any accessories, anything to add to my wardrobe. It's banned completely. And I'm going to be explaining to you why I'm doing this. What I want to obtain with this challenge is to actually fall in love with my wardrobe. There are many pieces in my wardrobe that I really love and they're really like my best friends per se. I really appreciate them. But there are other things that I don't know why and I, and I wish I can find the reason during this whole month. I don't feel so attached to them. I really don't know why I bought them in the first place because they're not really suiting me. And I want to learn more why I'm making this kind of purchases. I want to love my wardrobe and also lower my spending. As you guys know, I love going thrifting and sometimes this is a trigger because while you go thrifting because prices are very low sometimes you buy it just because it's a low price maybe you guys feel it also I know there are some pieces in my wardrobe that I bought them not so sure about them but I was like oh only five dollars I'll just buy it and then I'll see how I style it and I just want to stop doing this I know I don't do it all the time but a lot of times I do it. So I just want to change my mentality when I'm going thrifting. I don't really go um, shopping firsthand. The only things that I buy firsthand are mostly shoes because I don't really find the ones that I like in the thrift store. And if I find them, they're not my size and you cannot tailor them as you could tailor a clothes. I have enough shoes already. My main intention and my main outcome from these challenge is to feel joy and really feel empowered with the clothes and the shoes that I own. Also, by the end of this challenge, I want to be more conscious of my purchases. I really want to, when I go to a thrift store, look at the piece and think about not only, oh yeah, I have to get this because it's of this brand and it's a very good price. No, I just want to don't have that impulse of immediately buying it because it happens a lot when you thrift because when you see something you know it's not going to be there the next day probably so you just like buy it so what I'm going to do is hold on to it like I always do in my videos I'm not sure so I will hold on to it and maybe after a couple of hours or an hour and a half or whatever the time I'm at the thrift store get the piece again and think what do I like about this piece I maybe like the material that it's made of I maybe like the fitting it suits me good I like the fact that it's of this sustainable brand that I know it's a piece that maybe I don't have in my wardrobe and it's filling one of the gaps that I found that I have in my wardrobe and if I take all those boxes I think I've told them all yeah and if I take all those boxes then I'll get it but if there is a box that I'm not ticking I won't just get that purchase because if not I will regret it with time or I will not wear it or whatever so I want to be more conscious about my purchases I think the main thing that I want to achieve with this challenge is to actually get to know my wardrobe because I've realized it's only been seven days and I've actually challenged myself to put together outfits with pieces that I hadn't been wearing in a long time and it just feels great. I really like the fact of challenging myself every day to actually uh, reach out for those pieces that I normally don't wear and try to style them in 
different ways. I know there are going to be days where I'm not really inspired and I will just wear my same black pants, white tee and cardigan on top. But I mean, that's also my style. So I will also wear that for sure. I really want to work on this. And what I've been doing this first week, I know the first week is always like easier because it's like the excitement of like starting something different and all that. And we actually have a group on Facebook and we are sharing our outfits every day. I really like that because at the end of the month, we will have 31 new outfits or at least like most of them new of things from your wardrobe. And I think that's great. And what I've been doing this first week is to actually the night before think already on what I'm going to wear the next day. I really like that because it saves you a lot of time in the morning and you get to think more about those pieces that you normally don't wear. What I'm doing is before going to bed or like while the dinner is getting ready, I just like go to my wardrobe and I'm like tomorrow I'm gonna try to wear these red pants. Let's see how I can style it. Try to put like two or four different outfits and see how it works. I'm really digging it. I hope you guys follow along. I will try to do like four videos, like for the four Sundays. Yeah, four Sundays. I'm going to show you now seven looks that I've been wearing this week so you guys can see. I have to tell you that I won't be thrifting this month, but I do have some videos that I filmed before this challenge started. So I will be posting those thrifting videos so you guys can have like my wardrobe pause and also some thrifting videos. Let me show you now my outfits for this week. This was my day one outfit. I didn't really work on it a lot. I had just got home from my holidays and I just needed to like put everything in order, you know, like do some chores, chores, doing the laundry, going to buy some groceries. So I just wanted like something really comfy. I took this jumper actually to New Zealand. It's so warm and cozy. I didn't remember I had this. I just wore it on my first day also. And I wore it with these gray pants. Although I was like at home most of the day, went out, I just wanted to feel like a bit like put together. <laughs> I was wearing a white tee underneath. I really like wearing a contrasting color on underneath of my jumpers. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if it's even like a word, but I really like the effect of having like two colors, even if it's like black or gray or white like this one. I really like to see the two colors rather than only like the jumper like this. So yeah, I was wearing a white t-shirt underneath this jumper that I thrifted uh, last year ago and it's just like, oh, it's just like you want to, you feel like hugged, you know? I love that for jumpers. And then I'm wearing these gray pants. I haven't worn these gray pants in a long time because I realized they're a bit thicker. The fabric is a bit thicker. So during the warmer months, they were just not it. They were very thick. Now I can start wearing them again and I can start like styling them different than I did last year. What I wore for shoes were my um, Adidas. It wasn't that cold on Monday, but I got here from Cairns. Going like from 30 to 15 was actually a very big jump, so I was freezing. I wore on my puffy jacket, which is crying and shouting for a dry cleaner. I really need to do this as soon as possible because I have been procrastinating um, cleaning this jacket for a long time. So yeah, I just wore it with my jacket and I wore the... Uniqlo's favorite, well it's not actually this style, but this is one of the styles that everybody's wearing right now and I'll to tell you, fits everything. Yeah, this was my fit. I cannot really see the jumper, so yeah, but this is better. Fit for day one of the challenge. This is my outfit for day two of the challenge. I didn't really challenge myself this day because as you can see, this is my everyday look, but it was my first day in the office after my holidays. I wasn't feeling like getting dressed. <laughs> I was just in my holiday mindset. So I'm wearing a white t-shirt, 
I put on some full pearls just to make it a bit interesting. I'm wearing this cardigan, which I wear to death. I just love it. I love the material. It's 100% cotton. It's super nice. I like the color. Neutral. Goes with everything. I'm wearing these pants that I also wear a lot. I'm styling it with my loafers. Almost new acquisition. You can see how new they are. <laughs> I really like these loafers. I wanted some like really chunky ones and these ones are just great. I'm going to wear my trench coat. Here, the trench coat, which I have to wear to the dry cleaner. I don't know what I did, but the color, it's a bit mm, a nude beige back. You told me the color that it is. This one. And this was my look for the two of the wardrobe paws. This is my day, my day. <laughs> This is my look for day three. On day three, I really challenged myself. I wanted to create an outfit around this burgundy, dark red, burgundy you say, or maroon kind of color. I'm going to tell you actually why I don't really wear these pants anymore. They're a bit tight in the thighs, which I don't wear any kind of like tight pants, not even like skinny or anything like that. I just don't feel comfortable and I think they don't really suit me. Like, see myself on pictures when I wear like a skinny jeans, which I mean, they're not skinny, they're more like straight and I'm just like, nah. Like, I don't see myself. Each one of us, we see ourselves with just different things. The problem of these pants is the fitting and also the color. I just cannot work it out with this color. I can wear it, for example, I have a beret in this same color, which I love, and I wear to death during winter, but the pants just not me. What I do like is that they have some flared hem. That part, I do. I just wanted to um, challenge myself and see what outfit I could create. Came out with these. I I thrifted this vest not too long ago and I haven't been able to wear it because the weather was not like good enough but now it is. This is a merino wool vest which I do have to mend it because I realized it has like some little holes you know these holes that the moths do. I do have to fix that. You don't really see it. It has one here actually. <laughs> I will get to that eventually. With this vest I wanted to create kind of like gunny girl kind of like vibe. I've paired it with this shirt that has like an interesting color although I would have loved if it was actually like more exaggerated. I got a bit of like what I wanted and I've paired it with my um, Adidas Gazelle. I wore it with my trench coat and the same bag as yesterday. You know this trench coat fix every outfit. I'm going to be tired of seeing it and this handbag that was my outfit for day three This is my day four outfit. I'm wearing a few layers today. Yesterday was pretty windy. Um, well, you know, I'm doing this like on Sunday and I'm doing like a recap of the whole week, but just so, so that you are like in the zone. So this is day four outfit. Yesterday was very um, cold. I was freezing in the office. So today I opted to wear a lot of lace. So first one, I'm wearing this white, this white, like a uh, frannel. Do you call it Franel? Franel? Franella? It's Franel. Oh, now I don't know the word in English. But yeah, like super, super cozy turtleneck shirt, which I thrifted before my New Zealand trip and it was the best. I got sick there, I got a cold and this was my salvation. Just having the neck like covered and super warm material. It was great. I'm pairing it with my thing. I'm exaggerating, but I was so cold. You know that in the office, like you don't really get to move. So it's just like standing there or sitting. I get so cold. I'm wearing also this great cardigan that it's a wool cardigan. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it's too much. Apart from that, I've also paired this outfit with Hang on. My forever favorite country road vintage jacket or blazer. This is a jacket or a blazer, you tell me. So this was my outfit. 
I really like the combination of colors, although I'm wearing like a lot of colors, they're all like neutral side of the colors. So I'm wearing white, gray, navy, black. I think they match up like very good. I'm wearing the same pants as I wore on day two. I'm wearing this belt, which I wear a lot. It's a leather belt, but made in, in Tasmania, which I thrifted. And today that it wasn't raining, so I wore these loafers. And on top of this, I wore my trench coat. Let me show you how it looks. I wore the trench coat on top. Let me show you so you can see like the colors and I wore this bag. This week I couldn't be bothered on changing my handbag so this has worked with every single outfit. This was my outfit for day four. All pieces from my wardrobe. This was my look for day five for Friday. Just needed to um, do some things on the computer just at home and do some groceries so I really wanted something that I could be um, very comfortable in. So I'm wearing this tailored like white leg grey pants that you guys have seen me for sure wearing them. Um, for when I went outside I put on my Adidas which I think I'm kind of like wearing a lot. So Maybe next week I'll try to improve in my accessories. And then I'm wearing my favorite jumper, which was a hand down, hand down? Which was hand down to me um, from mom. I just love this jumper. I don't know if you guys see the color very good in the screen, but it's like this green turquoise. I just love it. It has the details of the Nakar buttons. It's just a very special jumper to me. Um, I remember when my mom was wearing it. It was very small. I don't know how small it was, but I remember my brother was a baby. <laughs> I just love it. She gave this to me last year when I went to Spain and I just cherish it so much. It's also very comfortable. Underneath, I'm just wearing a white singlet super easy when i went outside i actually put my trench coat on top and i'm going to show you how it looks although you already know how my trench coat looks but i'll show you so this is with the trench coat super easy outfit super baggy it's baggy in the bottom and on the top but i think it works you guys let me know if it does my outfit for the Hi. It's day six of my wardrobe pause. It's a bit more dressy because I went for dinner. So during the day I was just working and it's a very boring outfit. So I'm going to show you what I wore for dinner. I'm wearing my pink stripe pants. You can open this. I've owned these pants for like more than 10 years, I think, and I just love them. And then I'm wearing my high knee boots, my go-to when I want to be like a bit more dressy because here I cannot wear sandals, it's too cold. And then I'm wearing this 100% silk that I thrifted, silk shirt, sorry. I just love the color, it's, at, it's in like a champagne color it's a bit wrinkled because i wore it the other day but it's okay you get the deal i've just tucked it in here because if not it's like too long and i don't want to wear it all tucked in either i like like this effortless look i'm channeling my me made crochet roast which i think adds a bit to like these area you know so if you're like having dinner or whatever like you just see this upper part so i don't know i think it gives like a bit of a special touch what i wore on top of this is my uh biker jacket that i have to say this biker jacket i've owned it for like the longest time when i bought it i didn't used to wear things like so oversized it's actually a bit tighter than what i normally wear but i think it's still works i don't know I, I just like it this was my look and on top of this i was wearing my trench coat of course let me show you how it looks with the trench coat well actually i can just do it like yeah the trench coat is actually just to go from the home to the restaurant later i'm not wearing it so yeah this is the look with the trench coat oh, i don't know what i look i don't like it like that but yeah, you get the deal. This was my look to go for dinner on Saturday. That was day six. Yeah. 
This is my look for today. Today is Sunday, so it's day seven. I've actually done like a very easy outfit, I will say. I have this cotton super baggy pants that they're like kind of like tracksuits, but a bit more dressier. <laughs> I'm wearing my favorite converse it has like glitter in one side and yellow in the inner side they're just my favorite i've had them like they were a birthday present for my best friends four or five years ago i was like super excited <laughs> i'm wearing just a white t-shirt short sleeve on top today is freezing in Melbourne so I'm wearing this merino wool made in New Zealand thrifted cardigan that I just love it's so cozy before I go to work we're going to go for breakfast so I'm wearing this and I'm going to be wearing a thrifted coat that I thrifted not that long ago actually I haven't worn it yet it actually has the tag from the dry cleaner I know I'm going to be wearing it a lot this is the coat I don't think I said it in my introduction, but I really want to play with layers now that autumn is here So I think it's my opportunity to start layering more and also trying to use more accessories Accessories that I have are scarves. I crocheted a scarf last year and I didn't really use it a lot So I want to use it more this year when mom was here. She left me some like shawls Do you say shawls? but I want to use them more and I will also like to use more my berets and beanies and all that today I'm not wearing it because my hair is on fleek do you still say that? I'm not sure okay so my hair is good so I'm not going to wear anything on my head but I do want to wear the scarf I'm actually going to pair it with this thrifted bag I think it was one of my first finds when I started my YouTube channel I'm the worst person to wear scarves like I don't really know how to use them but like, just like this but I feel like my neck is like too ugh. I'm just going to leave it like this so you guys can see the effect look at this scarf isn't it like super beautiful colors? It's wool. I remember I paid a lot for the yarn actually. This is a scarf you guys and with the converse, I like it. That's a easy look. I'm wearing accessories that I don't normally wear. I'm wearing this bag that I forgot I even had and I'm wearing converse that although I say they're my favorite, lately I haven't been wearing them. So great that I'm doing it today. So this is my day seven outfit. These are my first seven day outfits that I have been wearing during my wardrobe pause. I hope you guys have liked it. <laughs> I've tried to incorporate some pieces that I normally don't wear. Although I don't want to be like only wearing pieces that I normally don't wear because I won't feel myself. What I'm trying to do is get those pieces and get to love them. So I'll try to style them with pieces that I normally wear a lot and I love them more. So I can like be slowly encouraged incorporating them in my day to day. I want to know guys what do you think about this challenge, this wardrobe pause? Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the challenge? Would you even like want to start one? I don't know, let me know your thoughts and yeah we can discuss it up in the comments. Hope you guys have loved this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have so and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on thrifting, thrift flips, my day to day and now my wardrobe pause. Thank you guys for watching, hope you have a wonderful day and see you in the next one. Bye!